Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. From John 8, 12. Please join me in the responses that are found in your leaflet or in your prayer books. Oh God, make speed to save us. The Lord, oh, Lord make, haste, make to haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me together, uh, whatever your native language is, in saying the Fos Hilaron, O gracious light. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. I'll call on Jeff now uh, to continue with our song. Psalm 146, Alleluia, praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Put not your trust in rulers, nor in any child of earth, for there is no help in them. When they breathe their last, they return to the earth, and in that day their thoughts perish. Happy are they who have the God of Jacob for their help, whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth, the seas, and all that is in them, who keeps his promise forever, who gives justice to those who are oppressed and food to those who hunger. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord cares for the stranger. He sustains the orphan and widow, but frustrates the way of the wicked. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Hallelujah. reading from Luke. I can read, but I can't be seen. Got it. A 
reading from the Gospel of Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or about your body, what you will wear. For life is more than food and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens, they neither sow nor reap, they have neither storehouse nor barn, and yet God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And can any of you by worrying add a single hour to your span of life? If then you are not able to do so small a thing as that, why do you worry about the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? And do not keep striving for what you are to eat and what you are to drink. And do not keep worrying. For it is the nations of the world that strive after all these things. And your father knows that you need them. Instead, strive for his kingdom. And these things will be given to you as well. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesús dijo a sus discípulos, Por tanto os digo, no os afanéis por vuestra vida, qué comeréis, ni por el cuerpo, qué vestiréis. La vida es más que la comida y el cuerpo que el vestido. Considerad los cuervos que ni siembran ni ciegan, que ni tienen despensa ni, ni granero, y Dios los alimenta. ¿No valéis vosotros mucho más que las aves? ¿Y quién de vosotros podrá con afanarse añadir a su estatura un codo? Pues si no podéis ni aún lo que es menos, ¿por qué os afanáis por lo demás? Considerad los lirios, ¿cómo crecen? No trabajan ni hilan, mas os digo, que ni aun Salomón con toda su gloria se vistió como uno de ellos. Y así y si, y si así se viste Dios la hierba que hoy está en el campo y mañana es echada al horno, ¿cuánto más a vosotros, hombres de poca fe? Vosotros, pues, no os preocupéis por lo que habéis de comer ni por lo que habéis de beber, ni estéis en ansiosa inquietud porque todas estas cosas buscan las gentes del mundo. Pero vuestro Padre sabe que tenéis necesidad de estas cosas. Mas buscad el reino de Dios, y todas estas cosas os serán añadidas. Palabra del Señor. We now continue with the litany for healing and for our nation. Let us name before God those for whom we offer our prayers. God the Father, your will for all people is health and salvation. We praise, we praise you, you and thank you, the Lord. God the Son, you came that we might have life and might have it more abundantly. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. God the Holy Spirit, you make our bodies the temple of your presence. We praise, praise you, praise you and, and thank you, you O Lord. Lord. Holy Trinity, one God, in you we live and move and have our being. We, we praise, praise you and thank you, O Lord. Lord. 
We thank you for the natural majesty and beauty of this land. They restore us, though we often destroy them. Heal us. Heal us. We thank you for the great resources of this nation. Make us rich, though we often exploit them. Forgive us. We thank you for the men and women who have made this country strong. They are models for us, though we often fall short of their example. Inspire us. We thank you for the torch of liberty, which has been led in this land. It has drawn people from every nation, though we have often hidden from its light. Enlighten us. We thank you for the faith we have inherited in all its rich variety. It sustains our life, though we have been faithless again and again. Renew us. For the peace of the world, that a spirit of respect and forbearance may grow among nations and peoples. Hear us, O Lord of life. For those who have served in position of public trust, especially President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence, Comfort them in the rest. Hear us, O Lord of life. For those who are called to serve in positions of public trust, especially President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris, that they may serve justice and promote the dignity of freedom of every person. Hear us, O Lord of life. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick, injured, or disabled, that they may be made whole. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to all who seek your guidance, and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent, a knowledge of your will and an awareness of your presence. Hear us, O Lord of life. Men, physician, nurses, and bless physicians, nurses, and frontline workers, and all others who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy, and patience. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to the dying peace and a holy death, and uphold by the great those who are bereaved. Hear us, O Lord of life. Restore to wholeness whatever is broken by human sin in our lives, in our nation, and in the world. Hear us, O Lord of life. You are the Lord who does wonders. You have declared your power among the peoples. With you, O Lord, is the well of life, and in your light we see light. Hear us, O Lord of life. Heal us and make us whole. Let us pray. Open us to your healing power, O God. We entrust ourselves to your care knowing that you are doing for us and for all the world far better things than we can ask or imagine. With you as our companion and guide, strengthen us to hope for all that is good and to fear no evil. For your love is stronger than death and your faithfulness reaches to the heavens and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and to the ages of ages. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be by thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We continue with the collects. First one is the collect for the nation. Lord God Almighty, you have made all the peoples of the earth for your glory, to serve you in freedom and in peace. Give to the people of our country a zeal for justice and the strength of forbearance, that we may use our liberty in accordance with your gracious will through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A colleagues for the President of the United States and all in civil authority. O Lord, our governor, whose glory is in all the world, we commend this nation to your merciful care, that being guided by your providence, we may dwell secure in your peace. Grant to the President of the United States, the governor of this state, and to all in authority, wisdom and strength to know and to do your will. Fill them with the love of truth and righteousness and make them ever mindful to their calling to serve this people in your fear. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. And for peace. Almighty God, kindle, we pray in every heart, the true love of peace. And guide with your wisdom those who take counsel for the nations of the earth. That in tranquility, your dominion may increase until the earth is filled with the knowledge of your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O oh Lord, support us all the day long until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed and the fever of life is over and our work is done. Then in your mercy, grant us a safe lodging and a holy rest and peace at the last. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks. Thanks God. God. Our closing hymn uh, is Amazing Grace, and I invite you to continue to pray your prayers on the chat. Uh, give thanks again for all of you, and uh, we'll ask Joe to start our video.